Trey got on that BBL Drizzy beat, which is the best beat in the world right now. He flipped it. Wasn't the best of the verses, but it was cool, though. Because he's like, I'm coming out letting niggas know, like, hey, I'm still here. I ain't really fucked up about that shit. It is what it is. Niggas have fun. The beat fire. Drake knows the beat fire. Everybody know that BBL Drizzy beat is fire. Metro, the only nigga that take no L's in his fucking um, battle. That beat gonna live on forever. So that's the best song I heard on the Sexy Red album. Even though she sounded like she got hit by a fucking truck when she be singing on the fucking beginning of the song. But I get that shit though. Like <laughs> I fuck with I fuck with Sexy Red. I don't like the whole as a body of work. I don't listen to a whole album of Sexy Red, bro. I will say I I I, I thought I know this song crazy. I thought that that album was gonna be absolutely. I did too. I was hoping I had high hopes for that shit. Like, I wanted it to be that ratchet hood ass shit, but I I thought it was gonna be a better version of it. <laughs> and, and she didn't. Like she kind of dropped the ball. It don't sound mixed well. It's like a nigga just got down, got in that motherfucker, started rapping. Niggas like, recording in the closet. Like, listen, we gotta put you out of the album. They could have did a better job than that. Yeah, they could have, bro. But I don't think she care because she gonna have it's something on that on that um record on that album gonna hit and gonna make her some more money. She's trying to get the bread. She's a hustler, like niggas buying this shit I'm putting out. I'm gonna keep supplying to, till it go cold. And I don't think she signed to no label, so I think she can everything. I know she probably got like a a, a small agent, she a label, label she with, but like no major label. So she packing a lot of fucking money. So she living a hood rat dream. She could do all the hood rat shit. Every day, every day, sexy rats on the internet being a fucking hood rat ass bitch. Every fucking day, she's doing some musty ass black foot bottom ass shit. And I am here to support it, bro. She don't, I have never seen with a good outfit on. Never seen no shit like, damn. All her shit was like, what that store? Body Central. Fucking goddamn, uh, what that shit Rave you go? Rave, like City Trend. Yeah. Like. <laughs> That bitch, Sex Ray have on, Sex Ray have a $100,000 in the hand and a $12 outfit on every fucking day, bro. Every day. And them hoes, like, they been used, like, it be like, Sexy Ray, like, she just get up and just, I'm finna just fucking do this shit and I'm finna go about my way, like, and I ain't mad at her, but she's a ratchet motherfucker. Every day. I didn't think you'd be that ratchet all the time. Like, it's no on and off switch. Like, she just straight up just, she just, she just, it, she's a real one, bro. She like, she is Gucci man. Like, she the old Gucci man. She Gucci girl. Like, <laughs> like this bitch is trapped the fuck out. Don't your ass on this train. Don't say it. Then I seen a video of her on on Twitter fighting in high school. The bitch can fight. She the. If you got to fight, like, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, they got them damn different people got to fight to get like the the main nigga, the final boss. You gotta fight 17 hood rat bitches to get the real sexy red. And she gonna whoop your ass. Like she the ultimate, she the ultimate fucking bad ratchet bitch in the world. Yeah, and cause you know what I'm saying? She got one finishing move, she's gonna knock your ass out. Like, she's elite. She's an elite. She's elite. She's the elite ratchet bitch of all time. Shout out to Sexy Red, but that album was trash. Get that shit five, no negative five mics. Like, never. I'm gonna go back and listen to it again though. Fuck it. Let's see, man. Where we at? 